Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back with you to do a review on a solar panel uh, from a company called Bouge RV. Now, uh, a year and a half ago, they sent out these two 170 watt solar panels and I installed them on my roof here, you can see. And they performed quite well over that time. I have no complaints. They put out pretty decent power. Probably get about uh, 15 amps out of them when the sun is directly overhead. Uh, Size-wise, they're just about, what do we got here, 58 inches. I'll give you the width here. Twenty six and a half, so they're fairly large. But I found a space on my roof, and that together would give me 340 watts. Now they've uh, stopped uh, making this or providing this particular 170 watt, so they've been sort of bugging me to uh, do a review of their 180 watt, which is what they sell now. So they sent me one out to review, and uh, we're going to go through and do a few tests there. Now I'm not going to be able to use this panel, I just don't have anywhere on my roof that I really want to put it. And I've definitely basically got enough solar, I've got about a thousand watts of roof panels and I've also got a 600 watts of ground panel. So I think what I'm going to do is take this one and put together a little giveaway pack, a kind of a solar starter kit. So it's going to include that, um, also going to include one of my... Uh, uh, Bogart engineering solar controllers and also a lithium battery that I've yet to uh, test out and review but I will be giving that away so it'll be a nice little kit I'll probably give away sometime towards Christmas once I'm down south anyway so keep that in mind let's go down and take a look at this and see what the the amperage that comes out of it and the measurements of it so there she is, and it actually measures exactly the same uh, dimensions. And they go for around, I think, somewhere in 20-something pounds. I'll post that. I'll post a link to, to the place on Bouge RV that will give you all the specs. Anyway, I'm just doing a test here. Kind of autumn sun, pretty low in the sky. And she's putting out a good solid 9 amps. I'm just doing a, a short circuit test on it where I short the wires together and, and check the max current I can get out of it. So that's not too bad. If you had a pair of this, a pair of these, you'd get 19 amps and good perpendicular sun, so not too bad. Let's flip her around and have a look at the, the wiring. I mean, your basic uh, solar panel. Not the most well built on the planet, but uh, does the job if you're looking for an inexpensive type solar panel. Look at some of the specs here. 180 watts, maximum voltage 19.54, so it's kind of like your, your standard what they call 12 volt panel. Uh, open uh, circuit voltage 23.84, then we have maximum current 9.21 amps, short circuit current 9.57 amps. So we're pretty close to that, even though I'm on a low angle sun here and getting into the, the mid fall up in Canada, sun angle gets pretty low. Open up this waterproof junction box with a O ring gasket on it. And we got a couple of diodes inside. Looks like it's soldered there. So it looks okay in here. There's also enough room that you could uh, get in here and, and put yourself in an inline fuse of some sort. Put it right inside the junction box. And the standard MC4 connectors. So let's uh, do more of a real world test of it. I'm going to pull out the, a lithium battery and a solar controller and we'll see what uh, kind of output wattage you can put in in uh, the sun we have here. Not the highest sun but we got a pretty clear day. There we go. So we have the solar panel 
feeding this little solar controller and then it's feeding this lithium battery so the solar controller I've had for many years it's a, a Bogart engineering just a little PWM controller that's fine if you just have a, a single panel like that I just have it set in actually AGM battery mode which will put out a pretty good amperage because this thing is sitting at about 30 percent so it'll take all the the current that thing can put out and this is a AO lithium battery it's one of the upcoming reviews I'm gonna have uh, the reason I wanted to review this battery is it actually has a built-in Bluetooth and an app so you can see exactly what's going on in the battery um, just quickly I'll look at the the current going into the battery of the solar panel so we're getting 8.65 amps according to my clamp on meter Let's just go have a quick look at this battery's app and see what kind of wattage we're pulling in. So here's my cool little app that connects to the Bluetooth in the battery. Shows me state of charge. Anyway, uh, it looks like right now we're at about 119 watts. Um, it's not up 180. You never get full wattage out of a solar panel, but you would expect maybe to get about 160. Um, but I'm only using a cheap uh, what they call PWM controller if I was using an MPPT controller I'd, I'd be getting more than that so my voltage 13.43 and current pretty close to 9 amps You can see this thing shows temperature too anyway it uh, appears to be all working correctly so I decided to also test with my MPPT type controller which should be able to harvest more uh, wattage off this solar panel than my older PWM. So I've got this uh, one that I've actually Bouge RV actually sent that out to me too and I reviewed it this past summer. And so far it's been working pretty good. Uh, so let's just have a look. I have it hooked up in good sun. We'll see what it's reporting here. So 163 watts is what it's saying the solar panel is putting out, 164 there. Let's go check the battery monitor app. Okay, yes, there we go. So the battery is showing it's getting 160 watts, which is what I would expect out of a 180 watt panel because we're not in, in perfect lighting conditions here right now. So some people would ask, why would you ever want to use a, a PWM controller versus the MPPT controller? Because obviously it harvests more energy. Well, back in the day, uh, MPPT controllers were much more expensive than the PWM. So say you had a small system, you could take the money that you saved and just buy more solar panels. So that's kind of early on what I did. I took my money and put it into batteries and solar panels rather than an expensive controller. But as your system grows bigger, um, the MPPT controllers start to uh, make more sense. Well, not too much bad to say about it. It seems to be built built okay for a for a cheaper panel. Uh, it's, it goes for $192.99. Uh, it is a 12 volt panel, so they are a little more expensive than some of the ones you find that they call kind of grid type panels that run at higher voltages and stuff. So in this class of panel, that's not a bad price. And they almost always have some sort of sale. You can see there's a 12% off right now on Halloween. But like I say, they always seem to have some kind of sale going on. So I'll leave a link to this page. It also has uh, more in-depth information on it and also the specs. Like I say, when I was talking about the weight, 24 pounds there. So, uh, and like I say, I'm pro planning on uh, packaging this up with a little giveaway later on. So maybe I'll have some, some more info on it later. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.